Thus it is written that the Christ would suffer and rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance for the forgiveness of sins would be preached in his name to all the nations, beginning from Jerusalem. You are the witnesses of these things. Preaching the gospel of forgiveness is witnessing to the risen Christ. One such person who took that scripture passage not only to heart but to action is Azim Kamisa. Azim had a son, Tariq, who was a 20-year-old college student, described as bright, wise, and charismatic by his father, Tariq planned to marry his girlfriend when they graduated college. Tariq also worked nights delivering pizzas. One night, as he was making his deliveries, Tariq was shot and killed by a gang member. Azim was so distraught over Tariq's death that he could barely get out of bed in the morning. It took him a long time to accept what had happened and a bit longer to find his way to getting over this tragedy. Then one day he came to the belief that in order to get over his son's death, he had to forgive the gang member. He had to come to realize that the first step was forgiveness. So Azim let the family of this gang member know he forgave him, and then Azim even forgave the family for what had happened. The gang member's grandfather and legal guardian, Ples Felix, who had raised him from a baby, eventually became friends with Azim through this act of forgiveness. The two men soon found they both had a common belief that kids should not be killing other kids. Azim started the Tariq Kamisa Foundation, which has as its goal to educate children so the child-on-child -child violence may end. The two men now give talks to students in California schools on what has happened between their families, how they have coped, and how to stop the violence. The foundation educates over 20,000 children annually by teaching the right values in life, forgiveness being a prime factor. How difficult must it have been for Mr. Kamisa to forgive not only the person who murdered his son, but his entire family as well? Mr. Kamisa preaches the gospel of forgiveness by witnessing to these things. Mr. Kamisa has gone on to write several books, one such entitled, The Secrets of a Bulletproof Spirit, How to Bounce Back from Life's Hardest Hits. His witnessing to the way Jesus has asked us to share the gospel continues. Do we witness the gospel? Well, if we are to witness this gospel, we first need to repent and truly convert our hearts in the world, in the word. In the first reading, Peter is reminding the people that they are the ones who accused Jesus of blasphemy, treated him like a common criminal, and put Jesus to death. Then Peter goes on to say that each one of them needs to repent and convert their hearts to be truly forgiven. Only then can they go to God. Peter is telling us as well. Each time we sin, we take part in Jesus' condemnation. We then need to be forgiven. But it begins within ourselves. Once we have repented and converted our hearts to God, once we are committed to forgiveness, then we can offer it to others. We cannot receive God with sinful hearts. Our second reading goes on to tell us not to have sinful hearts, but if we do, that Jesus will advocate or be our witness to God. Jesus is expiation or the one who atones for all our sins. Once this happens, then we need to pick up and follow God's commandments. 
Since we are here today, we are all keen in keeping the fourth commandment, remember to keep holy the Sabbath. And in doing this, we come to recognize and know Jesus. Our sacred meal, communion, is where it all comes together. Jesus ate with the apostles, not only at the Last Supper, but also after he had risen, as he did in today's gospel. And it seems that once the risen Jesus shared food with his followers, they came to recognize him. When the two disciples were walking to Emmaus, they, they encountered the risen Christ, but did not recognize him until they ate with him. And when the risen Jesus spoke to the apostles about the scriptures, or to the disciples, they seemed to finally understand what Jesus is all about. This sharing of food has Eucharistic overtones, as each time he eats with them, they come to recognize him. Then he preaches, and they come to know him. We too recognize Jesus in communion and come to know him in the readings. Once we take that host, we say amen. Once we take that cup, we say amen. This amen is our statement that we have come to recognize and know the risen Jesus. Jesus has asked us to witness to others the gospel of forgiveness like Azim Kamisa is doing. Jesus is the one who pleads on our behalf for our eternal life and has shown this by giving us this Eucharist. Jesus has shown us how to receive the Eucharist by the gospel of forgiveness of self and others. Now it's up to us. How are we going to share this gospel?